Welcome back. In this video, we are going to make queries to the GraphQL server. So we don't need this thing over here, the whole setup, temporary setup over here. We will be making our own from the scratch. So inside the backend directory, I have a new directory named as model to make the mongoose.js or the mongodb model. Inside the model, I have a new file model.js and this will store the model or the mongoose model or the mongodb model for our application. So we have const mongoose is equals to require mongoose to use the mongoose library. Okay, mongoose. And now we have const and then the model name. So model name can be movie maker or movie schema, sorry. Movie schema. And this movie schema right over here, we will use this thing in here, app.use okay, schema. So we don't need this thing over here. This is a temporary thing. So we will be replacing it with our own schema over here. So we have new mongoose dot mongoose dot schema and then we have to provide the schema. It's an object with name, the type string, name is of string and then the genre, the genre of the movie is string and then the year which is surprisingly also a string. So we have the name, the genre and the year, all of them as string. So now let us export this model modules dot exports. Oops, not with default module dot exports is equals to a new mongoose dot model. We have to make a new model using the movie schema and let us name this as capital M movie. Okay, movie and we will use movie schema right over here movie schema movie schema right over here okay so what we have done so this capital movie so mongoose will take a model and name it a capital movie m and this movie schema it will be using to make a new model for us okay so inside app.js so let us check the app.js okay it's fine model.js so in our app.js we have this root value which we are using right here and we have the schema which we are using over here with build schema so we don't need these two things these were the temporary setup so the type query name string we don't need this anymore we will be making a new schema of our own just like we make a model of our own so inside the backend i have a whole new directory named as schema schema and inside the schema folder I have a new file schema.js okay so now it will store all the queries the GraphQL queries which are we are going to make to the GraphQL server okay so build schema first of all okay I'm going to cut and copy paste just to save time cons okay cons build schema so now we don't need this thing over here delete it okay and inside schema we have cons build schema or the movie schema since this is the schema of the movie so cons movie schema is equals to uh, build schema okay build schema and then didactics okay so inside the build schema we have to fire a query to extract all the movies we have a query which is a type query and the query will be movies so if i try to find movies m-o-v-e-i-s movies for adding all the movies we have a query named as movies okay so for adding movies let us type uh, m-o-v-i-e-s movies okay and that movies will be a string or array or object it depends so now this query movies will be an array of a single movie because for at first at initially we want all the movies to be rendered to our application so that it will be an array of individual movies so now this query is a movie so whenever i type movies i search for movies i get an array back so inside the array of individual movies the individual movies will have a type of movie okay so this individual array elements will have a type as movie and that type of movie will have its own key value pairs which are name 
that will be string and the genre will be also a string and genre sorry the genre is string and the year yes you guessed it it is also string so we have the movie name movie genre and movie year as a string okay inside the app.js we have inside the model.js the year is string okay we are fine with it inside us close it okay inside a schema we have the year as string it can be a number i'm using it for like a string so what we have we have a query of type movies so whenever i query for a movie it will get me an uh, array of movie and that single movie or individual movie will contain the name and the genre and the year of the movie itself so let us so let us export this module dot exports is equals to okay we have movie schema okay so now we have successfully made our schema or the graphql query so now let us use it inside our app.js so const movie schema equals to require okay require dot 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 slash sorry dot slash schema slash schema dot js okay and in this movie schema let's copy this going schema and then the schema colon and this schema will be equal to the movie schema we just copied so schema colon and then the movie schema okay so now we are using schema as the movie schema okay this thing over here will be used for the graphql queries okay so we now we are done with the schema and now we have to work with the graphql root value sorry so for the root value we have work like this we don't need this anymore because we don't have a name query okay which will return the john wick parabellum okay inside the schema we have the movies and that will return me an array okay not a john wick parabellum okay so we can get rid of this okay bye bye okay inside the schema.js okay so now we are going to make a new directory known as resolvers now resolvers inside the resolvers i have a new file known as resolver.js now what these resolvers will do this will generate output as per my graphql request so whenever i type a query whenever i hit a query search for a query now these resolvers will create a request so you can see over here in the documentation the query and the mutation okay so this is the official documentation we have a query and then the body of the query and it is fine but i also found a nice set of documentation over here at tutorials point tutorials point slash graphql okay so this is introduction architecture you will find all of the stuff over here and the link is in the description of this tutorial point so inside we have type depths and the resolvers the resolvers are for generating the output to a certain query so this is a query uh, let us see we have students in array and array student is an individual student containing the id the first name and the last name and so on and so forth okay so we are going so we are doing the same thing over here create resolvers the resolvers is like this okay so whenever we have greeting okay so it will return hello for tutorials point okay okay we are doing it great okay so whenever we have students it will write db dot student dot okay now we are working fine with it so okay so let us create a resolver okay inside the resolvers we have so now inside our schema js we are going to make resolvers for our movie so whenever i search for a query named as movies we are going to make a resolver or make an output for such a query so we have resolver.js inside resolver.js const movie equals to require we have to import that mongoose model we made okay model and then model this is the mongoose model okay it is coming right over from here mongoose model all the three things over here okay we have const model equals requires model okay okay resolver movie and then we have const resolver equals to now this resolver is an object okay now it will contain multiple 
movies so we have a query at movies which will contain an array okay so whenever i type movies and then colon movies colon and then a function and then we have to run a function so whenever i hit movies i have this function running for me so i will return okay let us hello from movies maker hello from movie maker so let us implement this hello from movie maker okay ambit capital okay so this is the resolver let us export this resolver module dot exports is equals to resolver sorry it goes to resolvers okay this is done so inside app dot js let us import here also const resolver sorry const resolvers is equals to require resolvers require dot dot schema not schema resolver slash resolver dot js okay so inside the root value we are using root value is null we are now using root value as the resolvers so okay so now let us check const movie require movie we don't need model right now we can comment it so whenever i hit a query or search for a query with the name movies now this resolver will find it the same and return hello from movie maker okay so now let us check it npm run dev npm run dev okay you should see localhost and mongodb if it work fine localhost come on mongodb mongodb connected okay so now let us switch to graphql and then search a query so we have history over here let us close the history and now clear this so now what we have a query so we have to search for a query named as movies okay so this is a query and we have the movies as a query name so movies okay and then movie should be something like name genre so i need the name and genre from the movie array let's click oops expected iterable but did not find one of field queries why it is okay okay the problem is because in the schema.js we are using the movies as an array so if i switch to a string the string refers to the john wick parabellum we are using in the resolver so now you will not see that error okay let us check okay fingers crossed and then oops field movies must not have also okay okay now let us make a new query movies and you will see hello from movie maker now this is the resolver and now at the left i search for the query movies and i got movies from here and this is a string and now whenever the resolver match the movies it returns hello from movie maker okay so now this schema is working properly so now let us switch back to the movie array and we have to make a movie array with the individual movies so let us get rid of this single return statement we want multiple statements as it is an array okay now this is an array movie so we have the front end source okay now let us extract some movies containers movies okay we have these huge list of movies so inside this let us copy and paste okay just to make things easier copy and paste const paste okay movies equals to and then this so now we have a bunch of movies from our front end just to practice or just to check it out we have returned movies referring to the movies array we have just copied and pasted over here this movies array so we have returned movies so inside the console let me restart the server and now when i hit or when i search for the movies query you will find all of these eight movies inside the output refresh and what is it field movies okay so let us now retype the query once for all movies and then name you will see john wick john wick john wick john wick eight times because this all data is coming from this movies array 
so if i make changes to this john wick parabellum 1 2 3 4 5 so now you will see john wick parabellum 1 2 3 4 5 and rest all the movies as here so if i refresh okay close the history tab we have john wick parabellum 1 2 3 4 and then 5 and then okay the numbers are not there okay so we have these movies from here to our graph keyword resolvers and resolver is putting them all fine so now whenever i have a query named as movies and that movies is an array which will expect an array this array movies array is what i get in return okay so this movie array is returned by the resolver okay so now let us request for the genre of the movie as well and then the year of the movie as well so we have john wick parabella 1 and all the details related to the movies coming right from the this array so in this video we have made our own models schemas and the resolvers for the queries as well in the next video we will make or we'll start working with the mutations which are a type of query in the graphql so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching